Tyler, you're reuniting with uh, some of your national championship winning teammates and Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. How do you feel about that? I feel great. I mean, uh, like I said earlier, getting back to the basics, getting uh, back with my brothers and ready to go back to work. Have they texted you at all already? Uh, uh, I, I talked to Jamar yet, not Joe yet. I know Joe probably uh, uh, busy somewhere, so uh, <laughs> but I know he'll probably text me. Uh, um, but I, I talked to Jamar, me and Jamar, very close, and uh, we're ready to get, get to work down there. Tyler, um, you come from a program that's produced a lot of NFL players. Uh, what did LSU do for you in terms of preparing you to become an NFL player? Talk about what they did for you. I think you're on mute. Tyler, Tyler you're on mute. <laughs> so yeah um yeah uh at lsu um they prepared all my brothers and myself for the next level so they they taught me well off the field and on the field and that's one thing i really appreciate appreciate about them thank you what was the biggest difference for you during that 2019 season did, did something just kind of click for you that year or what what changed between that season and previous years? Yeah, um, after the 2018 season, um, after the last few games, after I didn't played a lot, got the, of the college level at LSU and understood the, sta the standards that they wanted me to meet. I matured uh, during the spring and before the 2019 season. Um, me and my brothers on the defensive side, we all set our standards. We all set our ground and we stood them. So, I mean, that's that's why we uh, we made it all the way to the championship and uh, won it. Tyler, what was uh, it like talking with Bengals coaches during the pre-draft process? And did you know they were pretty interested in you coming into the draft? Um, actually, I, I really did. It, and this really shocked me and surprised me um, that I'm going back with Jamar Chase and Joe and I reunite with them. But um, I'm highly blessed and excited to uh, be there and start a new family over there. How beneficial do you think it's going to be to have some familiar faces as you're getting uh, used to a new city, a new area? Uh, it'd be very beneficial. I mean, uh, seeing their faces, knowing we uh, we came from the same place, get to work out with them, uh, spend time with them, and uh, just get familiar over there and uh, hopefully uh, win a lot of games. <laughs> you were listed as a nose tackle. Do you consider yourself a nose tackle? Uh. Honestly, yes, I do, but I'm a uh, universal, so I can also play outside. I can uh, went through the op out season, uh, learn how to uh, pass the rush. So I can bring a lot of trades to, uh, to Cincinnati and uh, go to work. <laughs> so, so what text do you what text do you feel really comfortable with? Like your your top two or three? Say that again. I said, what techniques are you really comfortable with? Like your top two or three? Um, it would be from zero to three. Um, I'm universal, so I mean, uh, mo most of the times, uh, like at LSU, I'm known for taking up doubles or triple teams. So I mean, uh, as long as my linebackers eat, my edges eat, I'm okay. I'm a, I'm a team player, so that's what really counts. But uh, trying to get some stats for myself too. <laughs> Tyler, after those first couple of years of college, was there a, a, a period of soul searching for you, or was there a, I, I can't mess this up. I'm about to mess this up. I got to get things right. Honestly, yes, sir. It was a time that I had to mature. That's when Coach O, um, Verge, uh, all the staff members, uh, they locked in with me, and uh, I appreciate them for that. Um, it was just time of me being young, uh, getting ready uh, to play at the uh, standards that they want me to reach, and uh, I ended up reaching at it uh, mid mid time I was there. That's what really helped me out to mature uh, through the 2019 season. Tyler, you have a reputation for playing big in big games. Can you can you kind of run me through that Alabama game and uh, what that challenge presented and what you did well? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, we prepared ourselves throughout the week and uh, weeks before, so we uh, we had it on our mind when we played Alabama and uh, we brought everything to the table. Um, so uh, one thing for sure uh, that we uh, we prepared was the defensive line. We know they will try to do a lot of things against us. And uh, when I when I go into big games, I have a big mindset, big mindset, uh, big plays, big uh, 
big opportunity. So what I did was I focused, locked in, dialed in, and uh, we got the job done. Tyler, are you a big uh, NFL fan? And uh, do you know much about the Bengals in the AFC North? Do you know much about what you're getting into here? Uh, not really, but I'm ready to learn, ready to get down and uh, start start something new. Oh, there's a picture of you from that Alabama game with Joe on, on your shoulders. Do you remember carrying him off? Yes, sir. I remember that. Talk about playing down in, in the dirt. I mean, you, you guys get a different kind of joy playing um, down there, eating up space, uh, just going at it play after play after play. What what joy do you get personally from playing down there? Um, ever since a kid, that's all I, I learned how to do. And uh took it very far. I mean, I played multiple sports such as basketball and baseball, but I, I fell in love with football at a young age. So I stuck with that, played in middle school, played in high school, had a blessed opportunity to go to any school I wanted. I chose LSU. And um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a blessing to me and uh, watch watch myself grow and uh, take over the leadership of my, my dad, my own family friends that played football and they get to watch me go to the next level. Tyler, you mentioned you had to, to mature in between the 2018 and 2019 season. How much did that benefit you after you opted out in 2020? And, and how hard was that uh, to, to be on the sidelines and sitting out while LSU was playing? Uh, yeah, well, when I opted out, I mean, it was a lot of pros and cons, what I needed to work on. So uh, before I got training started, before I moved to Dallas to uh, train, uh, I mean, me and my agent, uh, Rocky Arsenal, we sat down and we, we, we mapped out things that I need to work on. And for myself personally, uh, that was another uh, tab that I needed to work on was my maturity, uh, my work ethic and everything. And uh, during the iPod stage, that's one thing I really worked on. And uh, I, I say to myself, it went through the roof. So what was your reason for opting out, Tyler? Um, COVID, yes, sir. I wanted to play safe, stay healthy. Uh, my grandmother and a few other family members, they caught the COVID. Um, I'm highly blessed that they're here with me today and uh, still pumping and rolling. So, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Sir, so you what, uh, so what kind of T-shirt are you wearing, sir? Just what, what does it say on your shirt? And is there a meaning to that? Oh, okay, there you go. NFLSU, yes, sir. Okay. An homage to your school, I guess. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I read that at one point you maybe were, were like 390 pounds, but got that down to, to 350. How, how is, is that true? And has battle in your weight, have you found ways to manage that? And how important is that to you and where you're at in your game? Um, it, it is very important now. Um, coming in as a freshman, uh, late April, um, I uh, went into at 380. Um, I mean, I worked my tail off. That was the same time Brady for Hoko. Uh, transferred to uh, LSU from Texas Tech. So I, I leaned on to him as an older guy. Um, he showed me the ropes and everything. We worked day in, day out. And uh, about 2018, I dropped my weight all the way down to 346. So that was a tremendous goal that I did for myself. Tyler, you talked about uh, just family members having COVID and, and first and foremost, thankful uh, that they're still with us, but getting that call today, seeing them in the room with you, uh, knowing what you've all been through, I had to make that a little extra special today. Yes, sir. It was very special. Um, shed a few tears, uh, watch all my family members cry. Um, but it, it, it shows me that I have a huge support system and I appreciate them for that.